We just got it for the African Senior Championship to start. Remember, mm -hmm. South Africa is hosting, yes. and South Africa actually won the last one, you know. And uh, Nigeria, the last one won 22 of like yeah. uh, the last two editions and mm -hmm. all that. But we're like, we went for like about eight years break before we finally got that one in Port Novo. So hopefully, in Durban, South Africa, it might just be a good ground for Nigerian yeah, athletes. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I have no doubt. Okay, yeah, there might be a bit of. You know, doubts there, but the Nigerian um, team in terms of athletics, I mean, yeah. um, at the last All African Games, don't touch miles, us. Yeah, yeah, miles ahead. What about the men? The, the men. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, but the baton <laughs> exchange and um, yeah, these things happen. The mistakes. Timing. Yeah, but overall, the African Senior Championship, we always dominate it. Come yeah, on, exactly. Now. Yeah, oh, overall, oh, man. Man. Should be no, with the ladies, I'm okay. I'm just thinking that the men they need to do more. They need to step <laughs> up. Very, very important. Yeah. But with the women, well done, Cecilia. Tell them we're proud of them. Doing so well. Well done. Ladies, uh, okay. Austin is proud of you, uh, ladies. Okay. So uh, just keep on doing it. And when you get to South Africa, make sure you make us proud. Yeah, more. get it better. Let's get into boxing, all right? We talked yeah. about it yesterday, and uh, I think uh, I mean, well said, me. So not not me. But uh, because you have oh, yes, yeah. uh, eighty-four out that. of the eighty-six members yeah. voted that they want to see. Manny Parker and Floyd Mayweather Jr. at the Olympics. Mm -hmm. I don't yes. know what's going on. Yeah, what's going on is they've come up with that decision and boxers, they've amended that rule on el eligibility yeah. uh, setting J, which allows professional boxers now, you know, come uh, participate at the Olympics. And that's how it's going to be. Austin, there's nothing you or Cecilia can do about it. Um, we'll talk, we'll keep talking about yeah, it. So yeah, what, what are they trying to achieve? Yeah, but they're not going to change what's it. What's going on? It's not going to change, change. Yeah, yeah, but about Yesterday, it. we tried to talk about why they're doing this. Uh, yeah. I think it's all about bringing uh, glamour. Uh, to boxing at the Olympics, all of the sports have got professionals, you know, participating in the football, basketball, you know. So I'm sure the the, uh, the president of the International Boxing um, Association has thought about this for a long time, and that's why uh, they proposed it in the mm. first place. And at the votes, it was overwhelming. Yeah. And the, uh, the other four, ninety-five percent. The other four that didn't vote, didn't they? Didn't even uh, they abstained? It wasn't funny. as if they voted yeah. against, against it. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness! So uh, that's the confirmation. Professional boxers uh, can now take part at the 2016 Rio Olympics. Umar Sadiq is an amateur and Nigerian boxer. He's in the UK actually getting ready to uh, go for a championship to see if he can qualify for the Olympics. But it seems uh, he will be reconsidering because he might just be going against David Hay or even Anthony Joshua. Good morning, Umar Sadiq, and welcome to the program. Hello? Yeah, Umar, good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning, thank you. Okay. Ah, good very well, by the way. Um, so I'll, I'll just make that you can speak louder that time. Okay, okay. Uh, we, we, we want to understand your point of view, Iba, saying professional boxers can now feature the Olympic Games. Does that worry you as, a, as, a, as an amateur boxer? It, it doesn't worry me because uh, professors, you know, they fight at a different time and um, we, this is what we do. It's very fast, very quick. Um, we don't fight to hurt, we fight with skills and points. Um, what, does, what does concern me is that, you know, the, the pinnacle of amateur boxing is the Olympics, and that's what a lot of amateur fighters strive for. Um, what, you know, once you're an Olympic champion, you're on top of the world. So to allow professionals to then come and take that away from amateur fighters, it leaves you in a position where you wonder um, what to look forward to and why not just turn professional immediately, you know? Um... Also, for promoters, when you win an Olympic medal, as a promoter, a promoter promotes you well because they can say this guy's an Olympic champion and more people would buy the tickets, would tune in. And you know, as we all know, the professional game is a business. Um, but if anyone's allowed in the Olympics, then it, it loses the effects of when somebody's marketed as an Olympic champion because then the fans would just think, so what? You know, anyone, can, anyone can go in the Olympics at any time. Okay, now for you, you're actually preparing, you know, to go for another qualifier to get a ticket to the Olympics. How are you going about uh, this? Um, I'm just going about it relentlessly, you know, just giving it everything. I've taken time off work, unpaid time off work. So I'm currently not being paid, but I'm paying money for training fees, you know, fuel in the car to travel around, getting the right food. My diet is really good. I'm training with some marvellous trainers here. I'm doing, you know, strength and conditioning, lots of work on the track. My teammate from Nigeria, Efetobo, has come and joined me now. So, you know, he's actually staying with me in my house and we're training two to three times a day. Um, getting yes, plenty, sir! Getting plenty of sparring. We're sparring, so, you know, on Tuesday we sparred twice in the same day. 
So we're doing everything we can, leaving no st stone unturned, and fingers crossed it pays off this time. Okay. Uh, Omar, uh, let's just go back quickly to the decision that was made by Aiba yesterday. I mean, is it really a fair fight you know, for a professional boxer you know, to take on an amateur uh, at the Olympics? Um, I, I think in theory it's not, it's not fair because, um, for example, now look, I'm boxing for Nigeria. Um, unfortunately, we're having to set up camp ourselves and do everything ourselves. Um, but then if you have a professional who's a millionaire, and I'm talking millionaire in terms of pounds or dollars, um, they have access to facilities, training, and, you know, specialists that we just can't get. So, you know, in terms of preparation, it's not fair. In terms of, you know, they've already served their bit and decided to turn professional. Yeah. And, it, you know, to allow them to come back now is just really not fair in that respect, I guess. Yeah, but um, someone like Mike Tyson is on record as saying uh, that uh, these amateur boxers can actually beat uh, some of these professionals uh -huh. uh, when they get in the ring. Do you, do you agree with that? I do agree, yeah. Like I mentioned earlier on, it's about the pace that we fight at. And, you know, in the amateur game, it, it's more about point scoring. You don't need to sit down on your shots. The professionals, you know, they take the time, they sit down, they wait for the right time and put everything into every shot because with every shot, they're trying to knock you out. Whereas us with the amateurs, we just let our shots go. And if an opportunity presents itself to knock the person out, then you take it. Um, you know, the professionals are used to the entertainment business where if you don't knock anybody out, nobody wants to pay to come and watch you. Um, so, you know, I think a lot of professionals have done what they're doing for so long that they're going to find it difficult to then readjust to increase their pace. But then you have some other um, professionals who would still be really good at it. Like Amir Khan, for example, he still fights with a... Um, amateur-esque type of style so I, I can see someone like him you know easily coming back into it but like you said you know if someone like David Hay or something comes to the amateurs I think um, they might have a hard time keeping up with the pace. Mm. Let's before we wrap wrap up this segment let's um, someone has described what Iba has done as um, a badminton player trying to play tennis. I want you to know, what well, does it look like? It's going yeah. to take off. We're going to take off the shine uh, from boxing, having professionals and amateur coming together. Yeah. Um, so this is one of the arguments they made was that you know in other sports like basketball, the professionals and amateurs will both compete. But um, one of the main things we need to remember is that you know the whole aim of boxing is to hurt your opponent. So you play basketball, you play football, you play all these other sports, but you don't play boxing. You compete in boxing. Mm. Um, also, professional boxing, like I mentioned, amateur boxing are scored in different ways. The fact that they're scored in different ways already makes them two different sports. So, yeah, you're completely right. It would be like making a badminton player play in tennis. <laughs> Thank you so much, Omar Sadiq, for speaking to us. Stay focused. Pick a ticket to, well, the, yeah. to the Olympics. And when you get a chance to fight Anthony Joshua, beat him up. <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think it's good to get you know, you know, the perspective of, of an amateur. Would have been really nice to get um, a, professional a professional boxer. You know, talk but Larry about, did just well, yeah, that. He yes, did yeah. Uh, already. Yeah, that was before the decision was yeah. made, even though we knew it was gonna was gonna happen. Um, anyways, uh, but like. In terms of um, being a fair fighter, you know, remember boxing, you know, you're still fighting your weight classes. Mm. So uh, if you're well to weight, you're not going to go and fight. Uh, David a. Way, yeah. yeah, so that's still there. So it's not, it's not open. It's not all comers in quotes. So, yeah, I, I like it, Austin. I don't know. Man. I know I you like it. it. Yeah, you I, like it. I, I, mean, I, I, don't, I do not like it. Austin. And that's what happened. American took his amateur, amateur style of boxing to Canelo. And see what happened uh, to him. Yeah, American. See is, what happened to him. American, American has been to the Olympics already. He's won his medal. Yeah. So I don't see him going. I think this is going to be all about, you know. Those you know, who haven't had the opportunity. Opportunity. And the ones that have turned pro already. And it's an opportunity for them as well. So I, I spoke about um, um, there's several great boxers in the past. I didn't get a chance to compete at the Olympics, you know, mm. um, because they've lost uh, during the trials for whatever reasons. They've gone on to become really great champions now. It's an opportunity for them as well. We can't just forget about all those people, Austin. Yeah. Okay. I all right, but the yeah. thing is about uh, 26 Olympic sports will be up for grabs yes. when the fighters, wow. you know, compete at the mm. qualifying tournament. This is going to be in Venezuela and it's going to be the next month. 286 boxers, 236 men and 50 women will definitely be competing. It's really short is. notice, though, so it, it remains to be seen um, the, amount, the interest, you know, in this particular. In. But then uh, the president um, of the uh, International Boxing Association says, uh, CK, who says it's all about targeting Tokyo uh, 2020. So.
boxers okay, know now good. that yeah, yeah. they've got a chance to fight. Because, you know what uh, this would boxers do. like Tyson Fury yeah. and of course Vladimir Klitschko will not be in this qualifiers yeah. because of their I mean, match. Come exactly. on, yeah, yeah it rules yeah, out so. a lot. Of, but yeah, guys, there are two sides to this, and there are these professional boxers because they know tennis players they have a chance to go to the Olympics. Professionals, I mean, yeah, are, yeah, Tyler, yeah, you keep saying it. it's okay. Imagine Manny Pacquiao going to the Olympics and is knocked out by some amateur boxer from Cuba. That is a big dent to his career and what we know him for. So there's two sides to it's this. part of the risk of that's the sport. That's yeah. what Tyre wants. Yeah. That's yeah. what he's part looking out for. It's yeah. excitement. I mean, mm. if an amateur knocks out man the park out, you love all I the I love team. it. That's so what I'm so I'm I'm <laughs> So what are you talking about? Okay, let's move <laughs> on. Mine is obviously, I think I know three bosses that may not just be yeah. there because of their commitments and mm. everything. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. I would have actually loved uh, a Tyson Fury to be there. I mean, yeah. I just wanted to Imagine see. I mean, get beaten by an amateur boxer. Yeah, that would have been fantastic. Then stop talking, hopefully. Yeah. Imagine a Floyd Mayweather Jr. unbeaten. And then goes to the Olympics. So, come on. And then some guys <laughs> just take the shot. He, he goes and then um, the Scorpion. Sikiru from Nigeria just I mean, do you know what what, oh what, that, what does what that does uh, for the career uh -huh. of Sikiru? So you, you, yeah, you yeah, think it's like when I want to go to the Olympics, I haven't heard from him, but I don't think Yeah, we don't know yet. So yeah, but <laughs> I don't think it's very much. That but he's, 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 he's a, a prize fighter, he's a typical prize fighter. He gets in the ring to earn, you know, six figure sums. So he's not going to the Olympics for you. Go ahead on the Mahu for you and it's money that was <laughs> All right, yeah. so that's the update. Uh, Iva has approved the professional boxers will take part at the 2060 Rio Olympics. We'll go on another break now. When we come back, the show continues. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us.